Oh, yes. You don't smell as well. Is that what you like? Yes, mate. Hugh Jackman! Oh, it's your job, mate. No, no, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. Well, what did you expect? <laughs> What's that? That's um, Wolverine. <laughs> That's not what that... What are you doing? <laughs> You have no idea. And he was so nice and he squeezed me. We embraced. We touched. Did you sing The Greatest Showman to him? I did tell him I love The Greatest Showman. And I told him he smelt nice. And because he got up and he wanted to hug me. Welcome to Staying Relevant, the podcast. No, Pete, let, me, let, let me do this, mate, because no, I'm, no, no, I'm, no, 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 I'm in doing stuff with Hugh Jackman, mate. So, you know. Welcome to Staying Relevant, the podcast with at extra legend Sam Thompson and Peter James Wicks. So because we are now professional and we've got a new studio and all that sort of stuff, I've got to tell you, there's going to be explicit language. I'm drinking. He's a If you don't like it, f*** off. But don't actually f*** off. We need every lesson. You're still having to read it off of there. <laughs> we are the same two people every week and it's called the same fucking thing every week. Okay, you take us away. Do it again properly. This is Staying Relevant with Peter Wicks and Sam Robert DeCourcy Thompson. The man who's just in, interviewed Hugh Jackman. Um, we're a couple of legends. Pete's wearing pink, which is weird. I've never seen you in pink before. It doesn't look right. Didn't know where to go with that. Anyway. No, genuinely, though, it doesn't look right. I don't like it. It's well, not you're not you. wearing it, so it's fine. I quite like it. It's a, it's a little pop of colour. <laughs> pop of colour. It is. It's a little bit of pink and a little pop of colour. Why does it say you've got an issue to raise? Oh, that's coming later. Why is that on the cards? <laughs> <laughs> because Who I'm... have you told to be like, I have an issue to raise? Yeah, I have an issue to raise. You've told the producer to put that on the card. Actually, no, I didn't. Weirdly enough, um, our, our producer had come up with the same, basically realised the same thing that I had, and I already had it ready for, for later on. So, what is it? So basically, we're just kindred spirits in the same mind because we both have an issue with you. Oh, so basically just a couple of snakes. Do you know what? I just love being part... I know it's, I know it's really... I know it's a proper loser thing to do, right? No, 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 I'm just so lovable. I'm just no, so no, no. appreciative and humble no, at the experiences that I'm say? getting. No. You know, I'm just, it's just so great. I'll I'm just tell so, you. so lucky. I'll tell you, I'll tell you what. I love this industry. I love celebrities. Well, it's because you wouldn't have a job otherwise. I never, I, There's nothing else you can do. All I want is to be part of their world. <laughs> what would you do if you hadn't... If you weren't part of this industry, what do you think you, you could actually genuinely do? Oh, mate, I, dude, I could sell. Mate, you're I'm sick. a salesman. No, you're not. You're right. thick as How shit. How about this? What answer? There's no one home. No, well, I'll go on to the next house then. All right. Town's been evacuated. Not Why? a good start for a salesman, is it? Well, yeah, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't be salesing if the town... I'd be with the town evacuated. Selling. You wouldn't be selling. I wouldn't be salesing. Selling. Selling. Yes. Yeah. Right. What did I say? All right. Salesing. <laughs> it's not a word. All right. Ready? Open the door. Yes. Hello, sir. All right. How are you today? Fine. I love your hair. Do you want something? Receding a little bit, but I love it. <laughs> Can I come in? No. Why not? Well, because you've just insulted me on my front door. <laughs> don't, don't be so aggressive. How about that? You silly prick. Now let me in. Right, so as we've discussed, there's nothing else you could possibly do. <laughs> you live in your own world where you... I just smashed that. No. I just absolutely turned the tables on you so hard just then. We're like, like with, with just I, wit and Do you know what? I was wisdom. once told saying uh, when I was younger, which is don't argue with an idiot. <clears> was that, was that your no. parole officer who said that? Who was that? Who because gave you that advice? There's absolutely no point. You literally have your own conversations. Your world is so different to what reality is. It's becoming worrying. 
What have you, Pete Wicks, done this week to stay relevant? That's not what we're doing. Oh, what are we doing? <sighs> Can we do it every week? It's just opening conversation. Is this only the opening conversation? Yeah. What have I done? Oh, I've interviewed Paul Rudd. Well, that would be... I don't know who that is. Paul Rudd. Slap the bars. Uh. <laughs> you look like you're from London. Oh, right, yeah. So, hold on. Oh, 60% of the time. Right, okay. Time. I, I don't know if you know how... This podcast works. Wild Panther. Wait, was it not Wild it's be a Panther? Long day this Sex one. Panther. Sticking. I can't remember what the rest is. Made out of Panther. Bits. He's doing a bread pit on you. Keep going. Oh, sorry. No, go. No, no, it's fine. Well, that's it, really. I interview Paul Rudd. Okay, so I don't think you understand the premise of what what how this show works. Still, so the opening bit is we just do an opening conversation, just things you've done this week in your personal life. You know, what have you like? It's your beard. Anything else happened this week? A little bit of flaking. Come yeah, I did. Day, didn't have a bit yeah. of flake. Got dry yeah. face. I know. Zara said it the other day when I was at yours. She told you you've got to start moisturising. I know. It's really yeah. bad. No, anything that's n not necessarily to do with staying relevant or the industry. You, I mean, presumably. Oh, have, what have I just done you, this you week? You have a life outside of work. Well, I've put my motorbike license. Right there we go. So you have done something. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I put my motorbike license. What for a full, a full motorbike? A full motorbike, mate. Yeah. A motorcycle. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're going to fail that. No, don't be a dick. No, I'm not. I've, I've, se I've seen you on your hairdryer. and I'm a hairdryer. It's a moped, and it's a fucking cool moped. I'm going to pass that, and then we're going to ride. We're going to ride together. No, we're not. Yeah, we are. We're going. <laughs> oh, my God, we have fucking biker jackets. That would be sick. We're not. I, I'm not riding. And if you like pink, I'll go pink as well. I'm not riding with you. I love the way we're calling it riding with. I love that. But I'm saying I'm not riding with you. Yeah, but it just sounds cool. We're just riding. Well... Does I'm not riding with you sound cool to you? Yeah, it's just what I mean. You're in a different. Oh my god! Do you know what? We're gonna... I don't know what's happened to this. <laughs> do you, do you know what we're gonna do? Is it not... It's making less sense than normal. Do you know what we're gonna do? do you know it's not we're... like having two conversations. We're, we're not even you know... on the same conversation. <laughs> do you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna convoy. I've just said I'm not right. What? You don't even follow a normal. Con... How do you interview people? No, because I know that we will. I know you're just saying we won't. <laughs> no, we won't. <laughs> Why? Because you're an idiot. I cannot. You'll crash. I We've know ridden you. together before. No, we we haven't really. Yes, we have, and I beat him in a race. Oh, yes. On, uh, and you had a triumph, and I had my moped, uh, and so, I dicked on you. I dicked you. Oh, it's going to be a long day, this one, isn't it? Because it's <laughs> literally making no sense. I was on a Harley, and you were on a fucking 40cc moped. Yeah, you dicked on me. I did? Yeah. Well, uh, did I win? No, Sam, you shook the whole way and then he crashed into other cars whilst filtering through traffic, all right? And I had to sit behind you, right, <laughs> to tell you where we were going. <laughs> it's a fucking long day, this one. Uh, right, okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. Tell us about Paul Rudd, though. Oh, Paul Rudd was great. Um, so basically, I went in and uh, I said hello to him and went, hey, Paul Rudd. Um, and he was like, hello, We've mate. only got an hour for the podcast. Okay. Uh, obviously, you went in and said hello. Right. Is, and is there anything else that We happened? sat there. We talked about Ant-Man um, and the Wasp and the Quantumania, which is really fun because there's a new villain called Kang, and Kang the Conqueror, and he's terrifying. Also, Modoc, who's this evil robot face that, like, So this flies. is a podcast that's sort of supposed to be funny. Is there any part of this that's interesting? Yeah, so, wait, what? I don't know. We sit down. Oh, and then I started slapping myself in the face. Um, and then he was like, you're slapping yourself in the face, mate. And I was like, yeah, I know, but... I didn't mean to slap myself in the face. Basically, we were talking about the fact that I did MMA once and I got choked out. And he was like, did you Wait get... a minute. And he was like... No, no, yeah, no, what? no, no. What? Is this like the fucking Jamie Lee Curtis where you told you were sober for 10 years? When have you done MMA? I've done jiu-jitsu. Oh, please. <laughs> Are you joking? I've done jiu-jitsu. Sam. <laughs> I roll around. That's what they say. Should we have a roll around? No, that's what someone in Essex would say to a bird. Should we have a roll around? <laughs> yeah, that's what they say in jiu-jitsu as well. Right. Should you have a roll? Is that what they say? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so tell us about your MMA career. Well, no, it's not a career. I've only I've done two lessons. Well, it's not a lesson. It's like a live thing. And you go in there and you fight people. Well, you don't. You wrestle people. And, so, uh, so let me get this And right. I've got a knee to the jugular. If you're gonna, if you're gonna um, take up jiu-jitsu, um, they make you fight people on the first lesson, do they? Well, no, because it's not fighting, it's wrestling. So you're, like, rolling around and doing different, like, combinations and stuff. And you've got to, like, try and get out of things. It's holding, it's clinching, how to get people on the floor. Yeah. Like, it, it, I wasn't good at it, but I went. It's fucking tiring. Okay. So how did that come up in conversation with Paul Rudd? Is he well known for his no, fucking I told cage fighting No, because I told him I was a kicker. I said, if I got in a fight, I'm a kicker. Right. Yeah. 
And then he was like, oh. So and you like, learned that from resting and holding people? No, because then he stuff? was like, oh, do you do MMA? And I was like, no, no, no. I'm just, well, I did do MMA once. And he was like, oh, what That's happened so there? embarrassing. And I was like, you well. You can't say you did MMA once. Why? Because you went to a lesson where you rolled around the floor with your friends. Yeah, but I, yeah, but I actually, I, I put people in headlocks and shit, but then I got choked yes. out. Okay, so, so, so did you put them, did you put them in a headlock? Yeah. All right. But, but because you went, all right, yeah, no, like you, like you did with me the other week, all right? It was like that, yeah. It was yeah. A so a little stuff, bit like yeah. where you went, no, no, just put your head here so I can put it in a headlock. Yeah, yeah. So you didn't put someone in a headlock, did you? No, but then You I... asked for them to place their head in your arms so that they could be in a headlock. No, but then I did tug around with people on the fucking floor. Tug around with people. That's another thing that they say as well. It's not. That's something <laughs> that, that, that's a completely different... I think that you might be getting confused with a sort of a, a sort of a drunk night with your friends, where you had a little pull around and a tug around and a roll around on the floor, all cocks out. Some of them hard, some of them not. Who knows? Explosive ending. But there was a guy who put me in a really compromising position. I couldn't fucking breathe. What was it? Sort of bent over, fucking face down, <laughs> facing the pillows. No, it was on a floor, and uh, and I couldn't breathe. So I was tapping like that. I had slapped my face. Um, anyway, Paul was like, "You're slapping your face, mate." And I was like, "Yeah, I am." And then we had a really nice conversation. We talked about all the different roles he's been in, slapping the bass, talked about loads of shit. So yeah, that was fun. Did that. Cool. What have you done? You're freaking me out now. I'm like, oh, no, I haven't done anything. Well, no, you have. You've done, you've done something. It's just not that interesting, is it? Yeah, I know. Um, uh, so the staying relevant thing for this week is, is saying what we both did for me because I'm going to bring it up because it's an issue. Oh, is this where we've got written down an issue? Well, this week... We uh, we promoted the podcast, so we had to do a interview for Valentine's. This has been worrying me all day, by the all for, week. For because he, Pete, sorry, just to set this up, <coughs> Pete said to me a week ago, "I've got something a bone to pick with you." I didn't know what it was, and now I'm finally <laughs> finding it out. Uh, so we had to do an interview for Heat magazine, um, dressed weirdly, and I don't really understand why, but I was dressed as an old lady. I still don't get why we were doing that. <laughs> Roll next, old lady, sharing a milkshake. Still don't know why. <laughs> That's embarrassing, all right? It's embarrassing, but it's something that we do because you're promoting the podcast. So look how fun they are. Nah, nah, nah. Load of shit, didn't want to do it. He loved it. The point I've got is that, obviously, with the interview, we then do the interview. You get kind of, we, we get approval over these pictures, yeah, don't yeah. we? Yeah. What we don't get approval on is the drop-in pictures they use. <laughs> what do you mean? So sometimes they'll use other pictures, you know, when you go through the interview and, you know, they're best friends and other pictures of us that have been taken from Instagram and, and whatever else. And this is an issue because it's happened before multiple times. And it really aggravates me oh, that you do this. So this for thing. anyone that doesn't know, uh, because a lot of you don't know, when Sam puts pictures of me on his Instagram, he edits them all. Oh, no! <laughs> so only slightly, all right? But my hairline, my nose, arms, age, everything to make me look horrendous. <laughs> now, the issue that I have is Heat Magazine, who we agreed to do this photo shoot with, out of all the pictures, picked one that he'd edited. <laughs> Which one was it? It's when I'm in my bay, you've made my arm so skinny, it looks like it might snap. I've got a nose that looks like I could pick up litter from three miles away. <laughs> and my hairline is so far back. <laughs> Right, all right? I know which one this is. the one in the pool, isn't it? Yep. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. So, as if that's not bad enough, all right? Bad day for me, that. I look like Brian May's weird sister. Who's Brian May? <laughs> Who's Brian May? All right, whatever. Fine. How do you not know Brian May's? What? Fuck me. Anyway, so, sharing a milkshake. Oh, it's all funny. Had so much fun. Then there's this. <laughs> Oh, no! <laughs> so Sam has picked my hair, <laughs> made my nose so big, and my arm literally looks like it's going to snap. <laughs> now, this has already gone to fucking print. I get a message from my manager saying, oh, you know, this is an example of what's going out. <clears throat> so I, I, I respond to her, having, having seen this, and I'm going to tell you why this aggravates me. Oh, this so great. firstly, we have to do things like that to stay relevant. And, you know, make a funny fucking thing, it'd be great. It'd be good. No, it's not. It's fucking ridiculous, but it promotes the podcast. Um, so... I send, so she sends me the, the, the kind of thing the night before. It's coming out tomorrow. So I reply back with, they've used a photo from Sans Insta that he's edited. <laughs> Made my arm look skinny, my nose bigger, and my hairline pushed back. Sent her a picture. <laughs> I put, they've not even referenced it. Why don't we get approval? She put, hold on. 
Did he edit the pic? I don't notice. <laughs> and I said, are you joking? He does it all the time. I've then used other pictures that he's done on his Instagram, this being Sam's favourite one. <laughs> you know that one. No one notices. No one notices he's done it because he just puts dinner last week with the big guy. <laughs> the, the key is to make the caption really aloof. So like, so it doesn't let so you know, like, oh, Pete's looking a bit grim. So expecting my manager and then PR, right, um, to go, well, listen, you know, we'll, we'll say saying, I'm actually dead in capital letters. Capital letters, sorry, but that's so funny. <laughs> Nothing. So then I said, well, listen, it happens all the fucking time. All right, because it's happened before, isn't it? And I've got a picture of that. So again, because Sam just does these, all these on Instagram all the time, and people, you, you fucking idiots don't realize like you've done it. All right, because it's so minor. So everyone just always goes to me, God, fucking hell, you look shit. You it? get loads of comments in the Instagram comment section, you'll be like, fucking hell, Pete's aged a little bit. <laughs> so basically, any picture that you see of me on oh. Sam's, he's done something to, he thinks it's fucking hilarious, oh. and no one ever fucking notices. And I don't, and then I can't comment on it and go, oh. mate, what have you fucking done to that? Because then it just makes me look a bit. Shiver me timbers, that is really tickled. But listen, my as if it wasn't a bad enough day anyway when I'm being I've got lipstick on, all right, and then that is, as if those pictures aren't bad enough. There's and then another picture where I look like I'm potentially on my deathbed. <laughs> We're getting a billboard as well. <laughs> well, and that picture, and that's going to be fucking. Well, actually, no, that's just weird for you. So yeah, so as far as staying relevant goes, I'm just getting stitched up every. Well, it's day. okay though, because you are wearing a lovely shade of pink. It is a really nice pink. You, you actually like it. Right, but yeah, I do actually like. Yeah, you are, you're bit... moulding into the sofa. That's the only. Thing. I, I didn't think that's true. The pink. Yeah, the pink. Yeah, it just looked like a floating head. Now I don't know. <laughs> a floating widow's peak. Um, yeah. So can you stop doing that? No, I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna keep doing it. Yeah, but it's just getting this. Yeah, like, and the the problem is I can't do it with you because because you have a weird squinty eye in pictures anyway. You already look like your face has been edited. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I did it once and no one noticed that and I made you... You look like Cosimodo when I did it. <laughs> so, yeah, as far as staying relevant goes, all these photo shoots and, and, and shit is, yeah, is a lot. I love it. Because so to stay relevant, we've got to dress up and you have to edit me to make me... I don't know why you do it. It's not a very nice thing to do to It's a fucking funny. It's so funny. Reason being is because, like, if you do it just not enough to be like, oh, I see what he's done. So people have to basically... It's the double take effect where people go... They look at it and go, wait a sec, fuck me, he looks bad. Like, that's what you want. You don't want it to be like, oh, look, and initially, oh, look, he's edited. You want to be like, oh, is he edited or not? This is another example, I think, of this is, this is Sam's new method, I think, in, in staying relevant, is put other people down to get further. And I just think it's a really rude and horrible <laughs> thing to do. Oh, do you know what I did do this week that was fucking cool? Is um, I've been playing Hogwarts Legacy on the PlayStation. Mate, it is so good. It is so good. I'm in Slytherin. Oh, come on. Give me something back for that. I don't... I, I, I can't even acknowledge that with a response. Why? I don't understand why you would play it or why anyone would want to. I, I mean, did you have fun? Pete bought a PlayStation in lockdown once. <laughs> Pete, yeah, did Pete called me and went... He was like, it was in the height of lockdown when he was really lonely. <laughs> and, um, and he went, Sam, I'm just... I'm a bit lonely. Um, I didn't say that at all. Uh, you did. Said, don't, don't lie. So Pete called me. He goes, I'm a, bit, I'm a little bit lonely, mate. He goes, you've got, if you're going to tell a story, you've got to get it right. I didn't say, I was, I was fucking bored. I was just drunk. A PlayStation's not going to make me less and lonely. And he, he, he went, I'm looking at PlayStation. Should I get the PlayStation How would that make me four? less lonely? It would make PlayStation me less four. 5. And then there was, do you remember the time he got, lockdown was a real moment for Pete because he then called me and was like, mate, I'm thinking of getting into my crystals. None of this happened. <laughs> and I was like, what do you mean? He was like, well, you know I'm quite emotional when it comes down to it. And I was like, what do you mean? He goes, he goes I'm thinking about getting a, what is it, a rose quartz? Don't know, because none of it happened, Sam. <laughs> You're trying to make a judge. No one was going to believe that I fucking rang you and said I'm trying to get in crystals. Do you know what I mean? See what I mean? This is what you do. You try and edit things to make it funny, <laughs> like pictures and stories. None of it makes any sense. At what point would I call and go, I'm really lonely, I want a PlayStation to keep me company? You did say you were getting a PlayStation. Yeah, because I was bored, not because I was lonely. What is it? It's not going to talk back to me, is it? How is that going to help me with loneliness? <laughs> That's a very good point. Oh, well, I'm, I'm less lonely now because, uh, you know, I've been watching strippers on Grand Theft Auto. 
Great pastime, that, actually. Well, great that, pastime. That's literally all I did. I, I, I literally went on there. I got one game, which was Grand Theft Auto. Kicked the fuck out of everyone, <laughs> and then went to the strip club and sat there and had a wank over an animated fucking bird dancing. <laughs> that's what I did, and it and it and it cured the it cured the boredom a lot. But was I still lonely? Yes, because the PlayStation didn't talk to me. <laughs> did you kick the fuck out of people? I can imagine you going in. Oh, I was <laughs> fucking going in, nicking their money, just crashing in. People would annoy me because they make little noises and sounds, don't they? Run them over. <laughs> Do you know what I do? I try and stay within the rules. So I basically go, I stop at traffic lights and traffic and stuff. No, no. I, and the other thing I used to like doing was just getting the army after me and taking yeah. them all on, yeah. thinking I was fucking John Rambo. I think at one point I was so drunk I sat there in a vest with like a, a red piece of, as if I was John Rambo running from the police and just smacking the fuck out of everyone. You do love, you do love a vest. Pete loves a singlet. Singlet and a beer. And like and and singlet a beer, a pair of short shorts, and wear, you're I've never wear and shorts. you're and you're fucking in. What? See what I mean? You don't even get the stories. Right? I've seen you in a pair of short shorts and cowboy boots. Don't lie to the fans. No, you the haven't. The fans. You can just tell the stories normally, and they're funnier. I was I literally sit at home in jeans. I don't wear shorts. When have you ever seen me in shorts? But I do sit there with a beer and a vest and a cowboy hat, and quite happily just sit and get drunk on my own. It's, it's, it's a fun time. Just tell the story as it is. It's funnier. Should we try and get my jammer on? Well, this is the thing. And this is, this is the funniest part of this whole thing is that um, Sam has now got the access to an awful lot of great people. But yet in the group just wants me to try and message everyone <laughs> about anyone that I know to come on. Because Sam won't do it with all these wonderful people that would be great guests. It's because I'm nervous. So why didn't you ask Hugh Jackman to do it? Because he wouldn't want to do it. Right. Although... Why didn't you ask Maya Gemma? Why didn't you ask Mo Gillen? Because mine, me, and Maya, we're Mar not at that point yet. I still call her. You're Miss not at Jam. that point. You see her every fucking week. She barely looks at me. <laughs> oh, so, so what? Oh, this could be no, another. Not like that. This no. could be another exclusive no, to the no. Daily Mail. Maya Gemma hates Sam no, Thompson. No, she's no, she's absolutely. That is an exclusive. No, you heard she, it here, folks. She's love friction both. in the Love Island camp. She's absolutely friction between co-hosts. Love Island camp. Maya Jammer rude to Sam Thompson. No, Sam no. Thompson slams no. co-host co Maya Jammer. <laughs> it's always slams, oh. isn't it? It's always slams. <laughs> no, she is. So... She doesn't even look at me. <laughs> <laughs> she is so lovely. Right. She is so lovely. Oh, okay. The backtracking no, now. No, she is. It's just that she's so busy with doing her stuff, and I don't want to. I don't want to. Maya Jammer too there. busy to talk to <laughs> Sam Thompson. <laughs> Why do you keep having to put emphasis on the fucking words? Well, I'm just uh, listen. It just sounds like she's upset you. No, she. Has hasn't she so Maya, great? If you listen to this, which you don't, um, listen. She's I think not. you should. I think you should apologise to Sam. No, don't do that. No, she's. You've she evidently is, hurt him. No, don't because she'll um, actually fucking be like no, you're you so weird. You won't even look at him. What a bitch. No, because she'll be like you're so weird, Sam. And like, and then I'll get fired because it won't be her. <laughs> well, no. Well, they're gonna have to fire someone because obviously there's friction in the camp. No, there's no friction. So you know, no. I just don't think things are working out. I would well, like. We're the three musketeers, apart from you know, two of you don't get on. They don't speak off camera. <laughs> it's all very awkward. People are picking sides in the. <laughs> Studio. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's just terrible. Mate, I would like to just say, disclaimer, none of that is true. She is the loveliest person and an, and it's an honour to, to to watch her work. Don't ruin this for me, Pete. <laughs> okay? Don't fucking ruin this for me. But um, we might as well move on to Sidebar of Shame then. Yeah, yeah, go on. Um, this week, we've made the press quite a bit. Have we? Well, for a number of different things. So the podcast made the press. Because as it turns out, um, so you could have done this before you got here. Sorry, right. I've got them all. Okay. So before um, before you used to have to do interviews and whatever else, now that it turns out journalists are just watching our podcast. And getting stories. And taking stories. Been three this week. Wow. Yeah. Now, my favourite one is Sam Thompson claims Miles Teller didn't want to be interviewed by him. Um, claims. So they're not entirely sure that your story's true. Well, I'd rather it wasn't fucking true. So it's basically true. your word against Miles Teller's. <laughs> Should we get him on? Because there's no reason. Well, Should if we he nut wanna, him? Well, I mean, what would you say to him if you saw him now? Because, I mean, this story, it could be <laughs> one of Sam Thompson's fairy tales because there's no evidence of it because it never happened. So and that's basically what the Daily Mail's saying because he's not he's not actually come out. Uh, to be honest, I wish it wasn't <laughs> fucking true. So 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 what would you say if you actually saw him? I'd be like, look, Mars, let's take a seat here, mate. Let's talk this out. Right. 
man to man. Would you try and do the interview that you originally were declined for? No, because that, the, the movie's done now. Right. So what? Well, I'd be like, mate, don't don't look at someone's Instagram just before they fucking go in an interview. Do your due diligence beforehand. Well, that's what you claim. I mean, did that happen? Yes. What? Well, so his agents looked at it. And why do you think that was? What do you think on on your Instagram is what? I don't know. Telling? Not sure. No. Okay. So so anyway, so that was that was one story taken from the podcast. Great. Yeah. So you made press there. Bring uh, it on. You're making press quite a lot at the minute because you are very relevant, which is good. It's all from this though. No, it's not. It's not. It's Hello, Suzanne. The other who's Suzanne? I don't know. I just thought of a name. All right. All right, Susie. So um the other uh, one from the podcast was um Pete Wick slams Towie snakes. Liked that. Enjoyed that. I actually did see that one. <laughs> but you did slam them. No, well, really? no, it was a joke. You jo- did. Well, you did. Well, yeah. I mean, I'll, I'll happily do it again. But it was it, it was actually from a joke I made about Parliament. The joke was um, uh, it was a lot. It was a lot like Towie, really, a place for the snakes. And they just, just completely cut that out, and as if I'd just sat here and gone, everyone on Towie's a snake. Most of them are. But that's not the point. So anyway, they're the two things from the podcast. But why you're so relevant is actually there's a big story in the Daily Mail about you and Zara. Really? Oh, that's Big never story. good. No, it's really good. And this is when you know you're relevant. Sam Thompson and Zara McDermott show off their new basement. <laughs> that's the story. That's literally it. That's when you know you're relevant, when they've got nothing else to write, but they have to write something about you because you're relevant. It's literally have done. we fucking made it? Well, you and Zara have. Have yeah. we absolutely? Because basically, you've got a basement. <laughs> Fuck Yeah. Well, see you later. The pod's done. Pretty much, I'm looking for a new co-host. I, f- I think that actually, do you know what's a, quite an interesting thing I think to talk about is like behind the wall of, of press, right? Because sloppy journalism. Sloppy journalism. because gen- Online's now are sloppy. But, but we basically have, like we have a bit of fun now, right? I'm never in the press, like ever. No one gives a shit about me. Everyone you are now. Everyone loves and has always loved Pete because he's thrown up in alleyways, he's stumbling into strip clubs, but, but this is he's the... cheating on his bird. He's like, Pete, Pete you never is... get found out for Pete, that. It's Pete... so annoying. It's always the ones that are doing the worst that never get fucking found out, and it really aggravates me. Pete is the kind of guy, right, who is a journalist dream. Yeah, yeah it's not because people love me. It's because I, I just live normally <laughs> and don't hide everything. And also because I'm out all the time. So that's why you never used to get pressed, because you don't really do anything, ever. But now that you're relevant, and you're in all these places and going to all these things, and obviously your bird is, is doing really well and, and really interesting, now you've got to the point where doing nothing is interesting. So you having a basement is fucking big news. You know what I had once, once when me and Zara were going through our blip? Um, I... See, were, I'm going to be nice about that and just let you leave it at there, Thank you, I thought you were going to chime no, in. No, no, no. There was a photographer outside my gaff. Yeah, I know. And she I used, rang me. And I used to walk around the corner and like on the phone and it'd be like Sam Thompson, like smugly smiles. And it's like, Matt, I'm on the phone to my mum or something. Like it's, they are really, I, I look, I've never really had that much press. I don't have that much of an ax to grind with like the Daily Mail and all this kind of shit. I don't think it's an ax to grind because I think, and this is, this but they is do the do it, don't they? They change shit it's, all the time yeah, and to suit a narrative. It's clickbait. It's, it's just sloppy, sloppy um, journalism. But on the plus side, of that, it's not really an ax to grind either because we sort of know it happened. Like, and this is what I said. I actually called Sam this week and said, we can say pretty much anything on the podcast and they might make a story. So watch out because some of the things we say might be completely false. And then if you write about it, we're going to fucking call you out <laughs> and say none of it happened. That's a really good point. Yeah. yeah. Fuck you, press. Um, because that's what they do, but which is fine because we put ourselves in a position where, uh, unfortunately, do you know what I mean? Like if you're sort of in the public eye, then you, you're fucking, it's not right, but you're free for a while, aren't you? I love it. I was in Barbados last last winter and there was a pat there. That's one I was of like, the poshest things. And I was I'm like, sorry, <laughs> that is so, I was in Barbados, you know, for Christmas <laughs> holidays uh, last winter. Where did you go? Uh, Barbados. Yeah, but um, what's that fucking Sandy Lane? No, fuck no. I went to, um, oh, I can't even remember where I went. I can't Is it Sandy Lane, the one in Barbados. But there was a, there was a point, there was a time, right, where the oh, this is a good one, where the the pap, Alex, I don't really understand how they work. Pete actually knows a lot more about press and stuff than I do. Um, I, 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 sorry, you Sam. Do. I, no, do you know you what? You do. Do you know what? I can't do this anymore because <laughs> you are just point blank line. You, Sam knows exactly how it works and pretends he doesn't because he's so humble and he's not really part of the industry. You know how it works. But I, I've never had Come it on. with I've never had it with me, right? And so there's so a guy, a photographer, basically. 
<laughs> took some photos and DM'd me, right? No, DM'd Zara being like, hey, um, <laughs> hey, look, I, this is how it works. Basically, I take photos of you, you get final approval, and then I send it off to the Daily Mail. Like, it's all very cloak and dagger. And actually, it's all like everybody, I didn't realize, and I genuinely didn't realize this. Everybody who gets a pat photo of them has a deal with them in place. No, that's not true. So there's there's two sides. Girls generally are really well known for this. So when you see all the nice pictures of girls being papped on nights out and you know seeing it arriving at a restaurant, someone's called a pap to so, so that they know they're there. When you get all them fucking grainy long distance, you don't know they're there. That's not a deal no, that you don't no, have approval yeah. on. So sometimes you do just get papped. And a, a lot of time, for example, there's a, there's a place in Mayfair called um, Barclay Square. And along Barclay Square, you've got Annabelle's, You've got um, a number of different. Um, you've got a, a number of restaurants, um, and perhaps just wait there because you get different people going into these different restaurants because it's like a haunt where people go. So sometimes there's just people there, but the majority of the time when you see people, they've set up pap shots, or when you get people working out in the park with a full face of makeup, just happened to be a pap there. Just, just happened. It's all fucking set up. I don't think a lot of them get paid for it, though. No, this is the thing. I don't think there's much money. But I'm trying to find this message from this guy. And um, I've got something that big just happened. Go on, then. Stay relevant. Yeah, relevant. I'm a bit embarrassed because I don't want it to look like it's a big deal. But it's a... Well, go on, then. All right, Jammer just replied to my story. <laughs> that's a, that's exa- Come on, baby! That's exa- yes! So- yes! The rift has healed. Um, <laughs> co-hosts have made up now. Wow! And what has she put? I don't want. I don't want to read it. I'm gonna leave it for a little bit. I don't want to. Well, seem no, this, too. Is, this is important. No, I don't want to seem too like. Oh, oh you've gone so red yeah, and fidgety. I'm that, come on, tell us what she's. Well, no, because I don't. Because I have to reply. Share it with your fans. Uh, no, because then I have to reply. I need to take a minute over this. No, because then you'll sound cooler. Because you'll go. Sorry, I couldn't reply. I was doing my podcast. No, because that sounds like you're trying to be too cool. I think my but just emoji with the two hands up. But I'll be honest with you, and I don't know if you. Yeah. Just do that, but see what she said, though. I what think she replied to the basement one of the cinema. I think she went, that looks really nice. There you go, see? And this is what happens. We've made friends! I Wait, need, is I this need... weird, though? Is she going to be at, like, be like, you're a fucking loser, don't actually, like... But, Sam, that's how you've made a career on, being the fucking loser. Like, this is this exactly what she wants, because then it would be great. <sighs> you're getting hot. You know, lads. So, as it turns out, I need a basement. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I fucking need. That's what I've been missing is a fucking basement. Do you know um, what? Just quickly going back to the Pat thing. Basically, anyway, so we got, and we, I promise you, Pete, we did not. You know what we're like. We oh, no, I know you did. We didn't I get in touch with any Paps in Barbados no, 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 or anything like that. And, you're uh, in a place, but this is what I'm saying. You're in a place yeah. and you're posting your stories. And this is another thing, right? So a lot of the time you can, for example, when we go out, and I say this to you quite a lot. I never tag where I am. It's a very good point. He doesn't. And I don't tag where I'm having a drink or where I'm going. It's normally Amazonico, by the way. But yeah, know. oh yeah. But but that's the place what I'm saying. So that's on the square where you've got Annabelle's yeah, and you've yeah. got everyone ghosting places. So listen, it's my own fault if I'm getting fucking dug out there for fucking having a fag and being fucking talking to people, whatever else. It's because I'm in that area. But the same as Barbados, that is an area where a lot of famous people go around winter. So there's obviously going to be perhaps who have then seen you and that's why they were the messages. So it's not that you called them. But um, but uh, that's why you don't tag things when you yeah, go. Yeah. You've got it all in your story, then so people you know you're the there. Point. And if there's a pap that's in Barbados at the time and then you're tagging on a beach, he's going to find out where that beach is and get pictures because why the fuck wouldn't he? So he then got in touch with Zara and DM'd her on the Instagram, right? And he and he basically just sets out what, what happens. He goes, what happens is I take photos of you, I then send them to you, you get full approval, and then, like, we split the money, basically, when he sells it on to, like, the Daily Mail and stuff, and everyone wins then because they make money, they get the good photos out there and all that kind of stuff. The beauty of it is he goes, I'm really trustworthy. Now, if a, I suppose if a photographer has to go, I'm really trustworthy, you probably know they're not, but he goes, I'm really trustworthy. Just ask... And then name. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then name people in the industry that had prior worked with him before. And I, oh, wow. I know, I know who you are. And I'll be honest I with you. I know that. who you are. 
<laughs> this, this is another thing. Right? I'm surprised you've just done that. All right? And I'll tell you why, right? Is because Sam... Um, and listen, a lot of people do it. A lot of people. You Sam, call them perhaps and then you go, oh, hey, I didn't know they were there. <laughs> but but Sam, Sam sent it to me uh, and went, you're going to love my last story because he put it up. Oh, you know, I just didn't know how this is how it works and all that crap. Listen, you do know. I'm not saying that you did that, but you know how it fucking works. you got to fucking drop that, right? However, what he'd done was he scrubbed out the names... This and he went, you're going to love this. And I, I looked at it, I went, oh, well, I can still read who that is. And he went, I know, I've done it on purpose. <laughs> so he basically outed them anyway. And did it on purpose. So I'm surprised you just said it, because he hasn't got the fucking bollocks to go, I know who you are, until then. So I'm quite proud of you. <laughs> Do you know what I did? Do you know what I did? I put one line through it so you can see the top and bottom. <laughs> um, but li listen, a lot of people um, uh, do do that. And... It's, 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 if you're going to do it, own it, is what I say. Yeah, that's exactly, if you're going to do it, there's no point. problem with it. If you're going to do it, don't pretend that you weren't aware it was happening. And, and, that, and that, generally, they're also the people that get most pissed off when they're pat doing something they shouldn't because they're not ones they plan. <laughs> yeah, that's really So actually, good point. Well, it's just an invasion of my privacy. You don't mind if you're part of it. Yeah, yeah. You don't like it when you're not. Yeah. And actually, but, that, but that's the thing. And, and the key to doing that is just to never tag or say where you are. It's fascinating. It's fascinating. I think something that really embodies the staying relevant element yeah, of our podcast. It, it, what, what do they say? Any press is good press or something? Any, yeah, any press is good press. It's not. No, no, it's <laughs> not. Yeah. Trust me, some of the shit that I've... Yeah. It's not. <laughs> it's um, new. But, yeah, this is a, is a big moment. Anyway, we've got other stories to talk about rather right, than just you. Go, but, uh, but, yeah, big moment for you because you are that relevant now. That your basement's interesting. Um, sidebar of shame. You're going to have a look and do you want to introduce anything? Okay, it, cool. Currently, this looks like, like you're all the guest on my podcast. <laughs> okay, yeah. So, Air yeah. Club 7 announcement of reunion tour. I actually said that on my radio show, yeah. You can buy the tickets, actually, through... Um, what? This isn't a... Okay. Like, it's a sidebar of shame. This isn't what you can get tickets from. <laughs> right. But you, do you know why that's in the sidebar of shame? Why? See what I mean? You don't... It's on the paper, but it just says reunion tour. So let's talk about that. So why is that sidebar of shame? Uh, S club ain't no party like an S club party. Why is that sidebar of shame? Well, I have no idea. Why would it be? Well, we were just asking. This you all know. <laughs> because this is going to make it more interesting. <laughs> I'm just going to read out. Put, the, put your cards down. Put your card. No, no, put them down. And I've got some other ones. Put the cards down, Sam. Put the cards down, because this is a really good example, right, of, um, listen, we're staying relevant. Right? Right, this go. is just an off-the-cuff. So, S Club 7 announcement of the reunion tour. That's yeah. in the sidebar of shame this yeah. week. Why? I don't know. What, what fucking, what, I don't know, S Club 7, they're huge. Were? Were huge. How many years ago? Oh, like quite a few. They were the Brits. Were they? Yeah, they were the Brits, yeah. So, and actually, our table introduced them. I didn't get introduced. Did um, you not? No. Who was it who did it? Someone brought them over, and then like they, they was like they were in a conversation. I was just outside the conversation, so I couldn't nestle in. Well, why are they in the fucking sidebar of shame? Uh, well, staying relevant, isn't it? The whole point of sidebar of shame is staying see, relevant. I see. So they're basically doing a one final throw of the dice. Yeah, if the, the money's dried up. <laughs> oh, right. Is there anyone who's done slightly better than the rest who well, hasn't turned well, up? Well, th this is this is another point that I was going to get to. Is if you actually look at them, no, they're all they're all back together. Yeah. And over the years, and um, uh, so our producer doesn't know this either. Um, so S Club Seven, because they were massive, reached yeah. for the stars and all that sort of stuff. And then you know, like one of them kind of bands that, that it kind of dies a death, doesn't it? And, yeah. then, and then people go off and do things, and there's scandals involved here and there and different things. And then a couple of them need to make some money, so they go back on the PA circuit. Butlins, where two of S Club Sevens, so they call themselves S Club Two or whatever, and it's the two that are probably doing the worst, then do a little tour. But now they've all came back seven, which is quite a big thing. Yeah. All seven back together. But the main reason they're doing this is because um, the money's dried up, hasn't yeah. it? Yeah. They, they, they haven't really done, you know, yeah, yeah, they've yeah. all done different but things. But is there stuff. one that has done better than the rest? Um. Yeah, Rachel I, Stevens I, is being is being mouthed to us right now. Well, yeah, because uh, because she she got she's not been involved in scandal, um, and is probably I'd say the most well known. So individually, was it, was it like was she like, look, guys, I'm going to be honest with you, like you're all great. Well, it's a bit like if you think about Spice Girls when they were going to drink, and Victoria Beckham just this went. What I mean. no. Yeah, she was like, I'm okay, <laughs> I'm okay, thank nah, you. Nah, I'm all right, much. I'm good. Yeah, she don't need to do that. We did a show with Mel C. 
Scary we spies. We don't know. Yeah, we did. And she didn't talk to you. No, she didn't. She didn't talk to me. Spoke to Pete and didn't speak to me. And I was like, fuck. She I was really funny. Yeah, it was uh, Keith Lemon and her, wasn't it? Yeah, and I was Both in selector. between Pete and her. And she wouldn't speak to me. She spoke round me. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's side brush. Do you know her? No. Oh, that's annoying. Just. Oh. Do I know who? And Mel C. No, no, I've only met that time and another time. Oh, that's it. Bastard. I don't know her. Um, so, yeah, so side brush shame. So things have dried up a little bit. One, I mean, there's one I can't be. Will you be going to watch S Club? No. No? I mean, listen, they were quite iconic, really, back in the day. Did you, ever, did you ever listen to them? Yeah, well, listen, if you're, if you're fucking at a wedding, Reach for the Stars always comes. I'm Holy shit. Pete Wicks dancing to Reach for the Stars. No, I don't dance. I'm just sort of... The, the, the Do it, ready? Stands up. And every mountain high and gone reach 300 for, for the, the stars. stars. And then, then tickle them. And every mountain, mountain high and reach, reach for, for the, the stars. stars. The whole studio And then your rainbow me... shining all over you. That's when your dreams will all come true. Do, 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 do. Do, do that bit. Reach, do. reach. Reach, 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 reach. I don't know what. Reach. But anyway, uh, so yeah, it was good. So no, no, I, I, I no. won't be doing that. No, um, no. So that, I mean, that, that sort of died a bit flat, that one, because you didn't even understand why they were inside. But put it down. I'm going to ask you the next one. Okay. Austin Butler. Austin Butler? Yes. Great actor. Austin Butler. I don't know why would he be in the side of shame. Well, this is got a, well, I mean, I've got why I think he's in the side of shame. Uh, the Voice. Is he on The Voice? No, you, Oh, oh, his voice. I'm guessing that's why you put him in, is it? Because he's like, because he's like, he preluded. Yeah, yeah. He's still, and actually, no, I remember this. He basically started talking about how he can't lose the voice. Yeah, um, bollocks. <laughs> <laughs> but he just loves it, doesn't he? Well, okay. Name me another Austin Butler film. I can't. Anyone? No. Name me an Austin Butler film. Anyone? Oh, is there a film called Anyone? No. No, Elvis. Elvis. Yeah. So other than Elvis, that's it. Oh yeah. So he's just gonna be Elvis now yeah, yeah. because that's all anyone knows him for. You'll see him in Vegas. That's <laughs> it. Hey, hey, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, Wait, no, literally... that was a shit one. Thank you very much. Wait, is that your one? Yeah. I do yours. Uh, thank you very much. No, no, that was shit. Thank you very much. Okay. On the on yeah. the sound there. On the sound. Who's is better? Thank you. Thank As you very Elvis. Much. No, just for, just for a second. Thank you very much. A little less conversation, a little more, more action. action. Wait, 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 ready? Run that mother hound dog! Wham ham hound dog? What did you just ask? Run that mother hound dog! Are you asking for a hot dog? <laughs> no. Little less conversation, a little more action. All this aggravation and satisfaction, satisfaction in me. Little um, Do you know what? You're a little bit like Austin Butler, actually. I'll take um, that any fucking day of the what, week. What I mean by that? No, no, no. Not in talent or skill or uh, good looks or any of that crap. In just the you you do something that is good and then just hang on to it forever. I fucking enjoyed today. I right. really, really enjoyed it. I can't wait to get out of here. I've not enjoyed today at all. Why? I just think it was a just complete car crash. And I know I say that every week, but this week was really bad. Well, let us know at home, because many... I think we've smashed it. No, I think we've, we've waffled our way through something that actually involved nothing of any interest at all. Well, I don't know. I think, I think I... you were very underprepared. Uh, I think you were too excited about Hugh Jackman. Um, I um, uh, and I think it was a poor performance, actually. No, from, from don't say that. I don't think it was a good week. I think it was a great week. No, I don't. I just, I just don't feel it. I didn't feel it this week, Sam. I'm feeling great. Yeah, but I think that's more to do with um, the other things because this was not good. Maybe it was the pink. Maybe the pink's thrown you I off. Maybe the, well, it's not thrown me off. I was great. <laughs> I, just think, I just think I, I, I just don't I don't feel it this week. Don't feel like that was a good one. And the, the exciting thing for anyone listening is that uh, you can fuck off now. Um, rate and review. Sam's gonna think about this the next week. I just don't know why you say it because like now now I'm sitting here going well now it's been shit. Well yeah. Um, so uh, but you can leave it now. So you're done. This is going to bother him for a week. Well, probably, yeah. Like, comment, subscribe, listen to us wherever you get your podcasts, and tell us that we were good. You know, I want reviews. I want people to tell us we're good, because I like a fluffer. Yeah, Monday, the episode's like, yeah, yeah. Bye. It's been fucking great. Hugh Jackman. Hugh bloody Jackman.
I'm By the way, it. Harry Styles, I'm going to put it out there. I think he's cool as fuck. Yeah, he's cool as fuck. Should we get Harry on the pod? I d- Should we I, get Harry on the pod? I don't know what it, I don't want to like him, and I, d- I just don't. I don't want to like him because I think really he's everything to me that I, I, I would just assume he's a bit of a knob. I just quite like. I'm him. a style bender. I just. I'm a style bender. What? That's what they call Harry style fans. Style benders. I don't think they do. <laughs> they do genuinely. They do. I don't think they do. No one's... They do. No, I think that's what they... I think you've just confused what people call you and put style in front of it. I mean, today we've had, actually had no format and just done this in a, a whole completely fucking roundabout way. I think it's been a great one. I think today's been a great one. I think it's been one of the worst. Do you? Do you actually? Oh, it's been an absolute disaster in a car crash. Me, Mysterious girl, wherever you are. Not the song. Is that not it? No. Not the song. I'm all alone, That's and it. it's you that I want. That is it. It's not and he pulls off his fucking shirt. No, 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 it's... Whoa. Oh, fuck, yeah. Oh, mysterious girl, I Mis- want to get close Mysterious. To mysterious girl. Mysterious, yeah. I want to get close to you. Yeah, in the waterfall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Curtis. And he's got such a good ring, and his nipples are the right amount of erect, but not too much so. I want you to... 